Hi there, so just a short video on how I got my WWE shop out to be quite bendy. But um, as you can see, this one does fold pretty good. If we just uh, put that there. As you can see, when you hold it, close it up, it looks okay, like that. So you can fold it. It does take a little while without kind of damaging the strap. Because what you don't want is for it to crack around here. As you can see, there's some crease marks, but that's normal. Now, I can actually hold this belt up how I want it to, you know, like that. Or this way, as you can see. Does it quite easily now. I tried buttoning it up like you know the normal way like you would on a display. So that's how it's getting there. Like this. You can leave it like that for a good couple of days so it will have some flexibility on it. Or you can do what I did and that was Take off all the plates, all of them, which I'm going to do now. Actually, there's quite a few, as there's six plates, and there is around four screws to a plate, except the main one, of course. You've got the uh, side bars, which is that one and that one. So, yeah. Really, there, just a uh, Three, six, eight to go. There you go. That's all the screws taken out. Now, let's just push these plates through. Well, there's one. Now, if we, there you go. One of the side bars is still on. Well, then let's turn that over. A good thing about these plates, they are good quality. They're, I think these are four millimeter. It goes in maybe one mil, so still a good thick plate. These are a bit deeper. Still look nice though. Anyway, let's get these off. There you go, they are quite wedged in there. See the indents that the bells make. Anyway, so the best way to make your bells quite bendy, I'm gonna say floppy, because it's quite always gonna be stiff. You don't have to keep the gold tip on, although it doesn't really make much of a difference whether you take it off or not. You just roll this up. Uh, let me just put the camera down one sec. There you go. Literally roll it up like that. You can get something to strap it on, whether it's a plastic band or just wedge it in between something like what I did. As you can see there. I do keep that like that for a couple of days. And you'll find it's a lot more flexible. Like I say, it's always going to be a bit stiff. Because I think it's like a bit of foam and card inside the leather. Uh, I did watch a YouTube video of it once and somebody did take it apart. So that's about it. Once you let it like this for a couple of days, unroll it, put your plates back on. Yeah, the other way. And you'll find it's a lot easier to hold like that. And there you go back on so give it a go don't try and bend it too much to, uh, without kind of letting the strap get a bit uh, used to it being folded because it probably will crack uh, I have seen some videos like that myself and of course you know let me know if you uh, have a better way because um, I don't really have any more 
WWE shot belt. Uh, one of the reasons is, although the plate quality is good, I just don't like the straps. And paying, what, £250 or around that when on sale? Plus two to 300 for a decent rear leather. You know, it's too much. I'd rather just buy kind of a, a Fandu or even a bootleg, depending on the quality there. Still yet to kind of see what they're like. I've only got a handful of bouts myself. Okay, well, thanks for watching.